Perfect. I'm loving this director's view. You guys get to see me looking nice and fresh and so clean with my Adam Helper gear. So I wanted to make a quick video showing you my office, <laughs> one of my offices. This is my uh, my vehicle, my Honda Pilot, which is also my <laughs> office for my yard work stuff as well as my snow removal stuff in the winter. And technically, as you can see, some of my moving stuff as well. And it is packed. And I figured, you know what? We're going to clean my baby out. Um, but along with cleaning it out, we are going to actually put these seats down because I don't really have anyone in the back seat and like I really can't. Um, so we're going to put these seats down and try to just kind of reorganize this whole uh, back area, this whole back space and see what we can do here to make this a more manageable um, and less of a you know chaotic place. You know, sometimes when you're on a job, it's a pain when you have to go searching and digging to get a dolly, for example. Um, yeah, not ideal if I'm looking for straps down there. So I think trying to just clean this up a bit, it's been a while since I've actually cleaned this up, um, will be good. Um, but also, like I said, letting you guys kind of just see, hey, the grind, this is... This isn't, I, I, I actually didn't start with this. I actually started with my, um, my, uh, and it's a beautiful day out today, I will say that. Perfect day for this. But I started with my Honda Accord, where it was basically packed similar to this in the back seat and whatnot, um, and uh, the trunk. And uh, yeah, I started with that. And then I worked my way up to getting, um, what was the next thing? My, my cargo van, which you can see my cargo van right over there. Um, I've worked my way up to the cargo van. And then after the cargo van, I bought this. And um, yeah, I mean, it's obviously... It's, I shouldn't say obviously you guys want to know, but it's done me well. I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of it. Um, but I'm also at a point now where I've been doing a lot of research. And I think I'm thinking about getting a truck. A small, small little truck is the next move potentially. Um, where this, this has been fun, you know. This, is, this has been good. But going the truck route I think would be even better considering the whole back of this is pretty much primarily used for storing all this stuff well i could just have a truck that could have all of this in the bed but then i would also have access to a bed so if i'm doing a small moving job which i do provide moving services as well with adam helper um then i would be able to put smaller you know one-off items maybe you know small moves potentially um would be enough uh uh, enough space for uh, for those type of chops as well so yeah i don't know i thought i'd just make a quick little video um kind of just talking about the grind and showing you guys firsthand one of my workspaces one of my offices <laughs> and i call it my office because this is where i do a lot of work out of and it, it you know it's it gets me it's it's, it's my leisure regular everyday vehicle slash work vehicle um, I do also have uh, a Honda, as I mentioned, I have a Honda um, uh, Accord, but my Honda Accord is not, um, my Honda Accord is not something that I actually am driving right now. Instead, that's something that my mother um, is using. So, for the time being, well, she uses my vehicle I use uh, my Honda Pilot for both my regular everyday vehicle as well as my yard work and um, you know snow snow shoveling snow removal uh, transportation work vehicle 
So, like I said, the next move, the next thought is potentially getting a small truck. And I've been doing a lot of research trying to find a good small truck. I'm here in Boston. I don't want to deal with parking issues to the extent that I already know it's going to be an issue. Um, so I'm kind of like, all right, let's, uh, let's get a small truck. And my research, I finally think I found the right small truck for me. I think it's going to be a Ford Maverick brand new most people probably haven't heard of heard of it ford maverick look it up check it out um i was thinking about potentially sticking with honda staying with honda and going the honda uh the honda ridge route or ridgeline whatever it's called because the honda ridgeline is basically a honda pilot but it doesn't have obviously the back part is cut off so i would have my same vehicle but i would also have a truck which is exactly what i want pretty much um so it's kind of that that dilemma but the ford maverick <laughs> it'll give me access to something small i can organize all of my stuff it's nice and without the issues that we're currently dealing with which is space and having to still deal with parking issues that won't be as much of a, a an issue That's the thought, that's my, my belief, that's my, my hope, I guess. Um, you know, so as you guys can see, there's a ton of tools in here, nothing that's too big. So I think going that Ford Maverick route might be perfect. Might be exactly what I need. Um, unfortunately, they are on back order. Um, there are some that are out, but the versions that are out that are available pretty much aren't the ones that I want, of course. But I may settle on one of them. However, we do got to deal with van issues. I do need to get a new van first. So this is kind of where my dilemma is, taking, trying to figure out what approach I want to take to getting a new van, cargo van, which would be for my, my, my help, my business, Adam Helper, and then a new truck that would basically replace this as my yard work slash snow, you know, winter vehicle slash everyday regular leisure vehicle. Um, so that's that's kind of the, the dilemma, the situation we're dealing with right now is trying to figure out, you know, the approach I want to take. Um, if I want to lease, if I want to finance, um, if I want to just buy outright, I couldn't, I, I couldn't buy all, both of them outright, but um, technically I could buy one of them outright if I wanted to you know, I'd have to dig into my funds we don't want to do that though we, we, we want to try to you know we've been working hard to build up my credit and whatnot so finally getting to a point where I want to try to leverage other people's money OPM um, and so like I said this is finally at that that crossroad where where I've been proactive with um, trying to to also speak with others get some advice so i reached out to my bank dcu digital credit union and hopefully we'll be hearing back from someone um today i called him uh, earlier this morning the person who's responsible for kind of commercial uh commercial loans and things like that um and so hopefully i hear back from him today and can have uh another uh you know input some more advice but specifically from someone who's in that industry and actually works with with other business owners and things see what he thinks you know based off of what he's uh experienced and other uh, uh owners that he's worked with um you know what what he kind of suggests might be a, a good approach what i'm thinking i'm gonna do is financing a new uh financing a new van and then leasing a truck that's that's what i think is going to be the approach i'm going to take i don't know for sure um I, I might not go that route i might i might decide to just only go with the, the van stick with this for another year or two years not do the truck thing for a while um i don't know so we're gonna like i said clean this up a bit um kind of reorganize it put the seats down see if that makes a big difference um, and and kind of go from there. That maybe will hopefully 
help me feel better <laughs> about what I'm currently working with and not necessarily feeling like I need to be so quick to, to get a van finally, uh, a new truck finally, because yeah, recently for some reason I've just been like, eh, the wear and tear on this and, and you know, I'm, I guess I'm upset also that I didn't actually get a truck a year ago like I wanted to or a van like I wanted to when I first reached out to my bank, Digital Credit Union, for a uh, commercial auto loan. No, it was a regular auto loan, not commercial. And I was approved, but I never actually put it to, to, the, to use. And a year later, prices on vehicles have all gone up. <laughs> so they may potentially only skyrocket even much, much more. And I need, you know, I need to get these vehicles. So it's like, why, why kick the can down the street? Why put myself in a position where I'm struggling, you know, not struggling, but I'm, I'm not as comfortable as I could be um, just because I'm trying to save a few pennies. You know, it's at a, I'm at a point, I've been grinding for so long and I've been doing that, that grind thing for a while. Like I said, I started with my Honda Accord and what I might even do is dig into the vault and pull up some of those old clips and start to let you guys see me when I was out there really grinding with just my Honda Accord and um, how I've built it up to this point where I have multiple vehicles now and you know I'm debt free things of that sort so I'm gonna keep it moving I want to jump in here and actually finally clean this up but um hopefully you guys found this video you know, a little motivational a little encouraging you see in my work vehicle right now and this is part of the journey I'm not gonna have this too much longer maybe I will but like I said, my, my, my next plan or thought is I'm going to have a, a truck at some point or potentially two, two vans, if not a truck. Um, but I'll definitely have something else aside from this. Uh, or I won't, be, I won't have this for, you know, another two, three years. And if I do, it's only because then maybe I bought another vehicle that was my own regular car, kept this just for my, my, my yard work and snow removal. That would be the only scenario. But even in that case, I think getting a, a small truck is what I'm thinking would be, uh, is what I kind of want to do just because then I can use that small truck for small one-off um, items when it comes to moving jobs that I have as well. So really being able to use that space for multi multiple um, different purposes, different, different types of jobs and whatnot. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, just trying to show you guys the grind show you guys what I'm working with show you some of the journey that I'm on as I am striving for financial freedom in this financial independence journey so I hope you guys found this video helpful if so definitely like this video and also if you haven't yet check out the Ford Maverick let me know what you guys think about it comment down below with your thoughts um, and uh, I didn't dive into uh, see you gotta think I'm working for Ford now I didn't dive into what van I'm thinking but I am thinking about the Ford Transit um, as well. So I won't lie, I won't lie, um, but I am not getting paid or anything like that from them. Uh, the Dodge uh, program, whatnot, is something that has also kind of been on my radar, but not to the same extent. I did do my research there, but I, I'm leaning back towards the Ford Transit. So again, video for another day, but let me know what you guys think. Comment down below with your thoughts. Like this video, give it a nice thumbs up. Much appreciation for watching. And uh, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date on all of my latest and upcoming video content. All right, my friends, you guys already know I got to keep it moving, but I'll see you in the next video. Hey.